How the rich use you to become richer. A few days ago, I was thinking about one of my businesses. We've been working and investing on this business for over a year and now we are having some success and I started thinking, how can I reduce the numbers of hours I work on this business while I make more money? The answer to this question is simple. Create a business system and employ more people to run the system. Basically, this is what the rich do to make more money. In this video, I'll explain in detail how this game is played and how the poor are always the victim of such games. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here it is. At the beginning of the 17th century, there was zero unemployment in the world. There were two reasons for that. First, because there was no public education, there was no way a few people could manipulate what we teach our kids, as they have done now. Two, which is similar to the first because there was no place where every kid would be brainwashed to love jobs. It was just natural that if you were born in the 18th century, your dream would be to create your own life, either as an artist, a blacksmith, a farmer or anything like that. But that was about to change. Towards the end of the 19th century, many countries of the world started influencing legislations to make public education compulsory so every child now must go to a public school. At first, the school system was highly influenced by the religious leaders, later the politicians and finally, the most influence came from the industrialist. Religious leaders have the Bible and people's obedience. Politicians have political power but none of these could be compared to money. Because the industrialists have money, they end up having the last laugh. By the mid-20th century, we already have a school system that is nothing but the camp to train factory workers. The industrialists influenced everything from curriculum to who ruled the schools. At this point, one of the education heads allegedly suggested that the mathematics curriculum was supposed to make children think. Then, one of the board members replied him something like, our goal isn't to make them think. And that's the greatest evil the rich ever did against the poor. Let's build them a school that will train them to be our servant. That was their plan. Now, back to my personal story. As you may perceive, I'm an entrepreneur and I use people to build businesses. While employing people to work for you isn't a sin, it becomes a terrible situation when we have a society where 95% of people need jobs. The problem about this is that because there are too many people who need jobs, the supply of a job is far greater than that of demand and as a result, the stupid entrepreneurs like me have too many people begging them for jobs. And that eventually leads to the employers becoming kings who hires and fires at will or even underpay a lot of people. This is evil and it was not by accident. It was well planned long before any one of us was born. My advice for you So, if you agree with me that what I'm saying is the truth, how then can you escape this trap? The solution is simple but not many people will do it. Give yourself education. I don't care which schools you attend. I can tell you authoritatively that what you've got in a public school isn't an education. It's brainwashing at its best because those who laid the foundation of those schools never did it to educate you. They did it to enslave you. Lillian Smith said, Education is a private matter between the person and the world of knowledge and experience and has little to do with school or college. Your education is a private matter between you and the world of experience. It doesn't have anything to do with the school. So, what are the components of a real education? First, you must know who you are. The most unfortunate thing about schools, next to the fact that you were trained to be a slave, is the fact that every child is taught everything at the same time and pace and we expect every one of them to like everything we want to force into their throats because we assume that they are the same humans. Unfortunately, the opposite is the truth. Every human is different 
and for anyone to actually function probably among us, he or she doesn't only have to know that everyone is different, you must know what makes you different. Socrates said, Know thyself. The first education is for you to know yourself. Know who you are, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, what you do easily even though others find them difficult. You have to know how your brain works, what your temperaments are, what kind of intelligence do you have much of. Are you a naturalist, nature smart, musical, sound smart, logical, mathematical, number or reasoning smart, existential, life smart, interpersonal, people smart, kinesthetic, body smart or linguistic, word smart. It's the combination of who you are that will determine what you will have passion for. Take for instance, if you have interpersonal intelligence, then you might do well in sales or in business. If you have linguistic intelligence, you might be a great public speaker, actor or a comedian. If you have musical intelligence, there is no point trying to have A in math. If you have logical mathematical intelligence, being an innovator or a scientist may be the best thing for you. You get the point here. You must sit down and analyze your strengths and weaknesses. It's only after this understanding that you can decide what path you will drive your life to. The second thing to do is to think like a king. Believe me, you were made to be a king. You can create your own life the exact way you want it. Don't be deceived that you need a job for 35 years. Except you love working and you love jobs, you don't have to be a slave to others all your life. But what I've noticed in people is that they don't believe in themselves. I get it, it's as a result of several years of brainwashing from society and the schools. Now, I'm telling you the truth. If you think you can change your life, you can change it. I was born as a sickly boy and grew up in poverty but when I became an adult, I started thinking about how I want to live my life. I wanted freedom and I knew that I would need money to get it. I went after money. I trained myself to be an entrepreneur, started businesses, failed for many years but today, I have the freedom I long desired. Though the rich have worked hard to make everyone else their slaves, you don't necessarily have to be their slave for 35 years. If you think you can create your desired life, you can do it. It won't be easy but it's possible. In conclusion, the rich get richer because they have worked hard to influence the kinds of education you and I get. Because we've got an education that deceives us to be employees, we end up working all our life for the rich. This in turn makes the rich richer while we become poorer. You can deliver yourself from this bondage. You can create your own desired life if you think you can. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 18 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.